Hey everybody, Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today we're back with another fragrance review. This time we're going to be looking at a fragrance from Le Labo. This one is called Bergamot 22. So this is my first fragrance from this house, and this is actually the only one that I've tried from this house. I haven't really been too interested in many of these fragrances, um, but out of all of them, Bergamot 22 is the one that I've been wanting for the longest time. Just recently I picked up this bottle, I got a really good deal on it, I got it for like $210. Uh, for this 100 mil that was full when I got it so that was a really solid price and like I said I've been wanting it for at least over a year now and you know I finally got around to grabbing it and before we jump into the review make sure you give this video a like also don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an I post so in this review I'm going to go ahead and tell you how it smells how it performs when you can wear it and things like that so if that sounds interesting to you, let's go and jump into this. So what do you get in the opening of this scent? Pretty much right away is bergamot. No surprise there. Bergamot and grapefruit really dominate the opening, giving you this nice, tart, fruity, and fresh citrus blast in the opening. Vetiver starts to come in, giving it a nice woody base, and also some orange blossom, which gives it a nice, like, fruity orange pop as well. So pretty much right off the bat, when I smelled this for the first time, it reminded me of two different fragrances. One, it reminded me of Mugler Cologne, and the second one, it reminded me of Dior Homme Cologne. So it reminded me of those two fragrances pretty much right away. It has that like vetiver green smell of Mugler Cologne, and it has this nice fruity pop from Dior Homme Cologne. So like I said, it reminded me of both of those. Um, if I had to pick between one or the other, which it reminded me more of, it would probably be Mugler Cologne, and I'm not saying it smells exactly like Mugler Cologne or anything like that, because it doesn't, uh, but it is just something that I kind of noticed when I smelled it for the first time. So hopefully that helps kind of give you a general idea of, you know, what type of scent this is. But like I said, bergamot and grapefruit in the opening. The bergamot is nice and tart, and the grapefruit is a little bit sweet and bright, a little bit tart as well. This opening smells really, really good very bright, uplifting, and just awesome overall. Again, vetiver, musk, some orange blossom starts to come in as it settles down on my skin a little bit more. Overall, it just smells really, really good. It's a great citrus scent with a nice green and woody depth to it. And this stuff is gonna be really, really nice for the spring and summer. There's just something about this scent that just really makes me happy. It really reminds me of spring and summertime, of warm weather. It's just very uplifting, very vibrant, and it has a lot going for it. So when can you wear Bergamot 22? Definitely more of a casual scent, again, for the spring and summertime. Pretty much anything during the day, you know, wearing, you know, a dress down, white t-shirt and shorts, this would work great. Just for casual stuff like that, just something when you want to smell nice and clean and citrusy, this is one you can reach for. Not really much of a fall and winter fragrance as you could probably imagine. Again, mostly citrus dominated here with a little bit of a woody depth to it, but not too much. Like I said, the main players here are the citrus, um, the bergamot. And so because of that, definitely more of a warmer weather scent. It's gonna work really good in cool spring days and also work really great in really, really hot summer days. Um, just stuff like that, it's gonna work fantastic. This just smells like you're wearing a nice, clean, white t-shirt, you know, and you're out on like a spring or summer day. And like I said, just very, very awesome, very uplifting, very fresh, and just very summery overall. Uh, so like I said, for spring and summer, more casual, but you can more or less wear it for just about anything in the spring or summer. So before I hop into performance, I just want to jump in here and say, if you haven't checked out my decanting course yet, go ahead and do that now. If you head on over to chaosfragrances.com, you can check it out there. Again, that course tells you everything you need to know on how to decant. That way you can build up a collection that looks, you know, something like this. That's how I was able to do it in the short amount of time that I did, and I didn't have to go broke. So check it out, chaosfragrances.com. Now let's touch on performance. And performance is where this one isn't quite the best for me. Longevity, I get about six hours or so on my skin. Projection wise, sits closer to the skin. It doesn't really push out all that much. It'll push out better when it's really hot. So when you have a lot of heat on this, if you're wearing it out in the summer, you know, outside when the sun is beaten down, it's gonna really push off your skin a lot more and it's going to develop a lot more. Um, but if you don't really have a lot of heat on it, it's not going to project all that well. And again, like I said, with longevity, about six hours, that's not awful. I mean, that's about what you could kind of expect from a citrus-based fragrance. Um, again, it's definitely nothing to write home about. Not a beast by any means, but really it's one of those things where with this type of scent, I can respect that. I can understand that. Again, you know, focusing on the bergamot. Um, that's a note that, you know, it would be hard to make it last a long time. So I can see why it doesn't perform the best. Overall, 
performance is, I guess, okay uh, for a citrus fragrance. You know, it's solid, I guess. Again, you can't compare it to leather scents and, you know, boozy scents that last, you know, over 12 hours and say that this sucks because it's a completely different type of composition. This is a citrus based fragrance and because of that it's not going to last the longest. Overall though it is decent enough but this is one that you're probably going to have to go with a few extra sprays and that is kind of a bummer again because this is pretty expensive stuff normally um, so it would kind of suck to have to just load down on the trigger all the time. Um, but that's just kind of one of those things where you have to do what you have to do. Again, you can buy a decant of this if you don't want to spend you know, money on a full bottle and just kind of wear through those. That'll probably be a little bit cheaper for you. Um, but overall, like I said, not going to be the best performer, but that's kind of about what you would expect. So will this be a compliment getter? It could be. Again, it's very clean, fresh, easy to like citrus scent. I really don't think anyone's going to necessarily dislike this scent. Um, like I said, it just smells like bergamot, it smells like grapefruit, all right, very citrusy. And I feel like it would be hard to dislike this unless you really just dislike those notes. But I would say for the average person, you know, that smells this on you when you walk by them, they're going to think it smells nice. Um, this isn't something that really smells like a cologne. There are fragrances, you know, for example, Dior Sauvage, I bring this up all the time. That smells like a cologne, right? You know, you can tell that's a men's fragrance when you smell it. This just smells like citrus. It smells like bergamot, it smells like grapefruit. So it's probably not gonna get you the same reactions as something like Dior Sauvage would, you know, where women really like that, smell on you and think it smells sexy. I don't think this is the type of fragrance that would smell sexy. It just doesn't have that type of appeal. It smells like bergamot, it smells like grapefruit, it smells like vetiver, right? Very citrus based and a little bit woody, um, but it's definitely not something that's going to be super sexy and appealing. Uh, so because of that, it's not gonna get you those type of compliments, but it will definitely get you, you know, comments and compliments of people saying, oh, you smell nice, you smell clean, uh, or whatever the case may be, you smell fresh. Um, it's gonna get you that type of attention, but don't expect it to be, you know, like Sauvage, like Aqua Atlantique, or Dylan Blue, or Blue de Chanel, or all those other fresh fragrances that get you those really over the top compliments. This is probably not going to be that scent, and it's not supposed to be. Like I said, this is for those of you who like the note bergamot, right? And that's, it's a niche fragrance. That's what it's after is, you know, taking that note and making it the center of the fragrance. And with that, they did a great job. So let's go ahead and talk about price on this one. 100 ml bottles retail for, I believe it's $275. Um, I have it pulled up on barneys.com. That is pretty expensive for a fragrance, especially for, again, a scent like this. It doesn't really last that long and that is somewhat simplistic. I'm not saying that in a bad way. I love the scent, but you gotta admit that you know, 275 for a 100 ml bottle of a bergamot fragrance is pretty pricey. With that being said though, if you can find it discounted or you know at a better price, definitely think it's worth it. Like I said, I got mine for 210 for the 100 ml that was you know only missing a handful of sprays. That's definitely really solid. So if you can find it for around that price, I would say go for it. Would I recommend that you blind buy this scent? Um, it depends. If you like bergamot, if you like citrus, and you like you know some vetiver and some woodsiness, I would say you would like it. Again, I don't want to say that you should blind buy it just because of the price. If you're spending 275, if you're buying at retail, you probably would be better off grabbing a sample first just to be safe. Again, I feel like it would be really hard to dislike this scent, but I also feel like that not everyone's going to be blown away by it. Not everyone think it's going to be worth 275. So that's something that you're gonna to have to come up with yourself. I would just still recommend just grabbing a sample of it first, seeing if you like it or not, and then decide from there if you want to grab a bottle of it. So guys, my final thoughts on Bergamot 22. I'm a really big fan of this. I think it smells fantastic. It's definitely going to be one that I'm going to be reaching for in the spring, in the summer. Um, we're finally into March now and it's starting to warm up. Uh, so with that being said, do expect some outdoor reviews. Again, you know, I've talked about this before in other videos. I'm still going to be reviewing mostly inside. It's just easier for me because all of my stuff is inside. Everything is, you know, right here. Um, the camera and the lights are always set up. So all I have to do is basically turn it on and go. Um, so it's just a lot easier for me to, you know, record videos inside and get a bunch of them done. Not only that, but I can also record weather any time of the day. A lot of times I record my videos at like midnight and later, um, just because that's, you know, when I have the most time to do so. So I obviously wouldn't be able to do that outside. And then of course you have weather permitting. So again, that's just to answer a few questions, people always ask me why I don't record outside anymore. But again, like I said, I'm gonna try to sprinkle in some outdoor videos coming up. It is starting to warm up. I might try to get outside and record my spring starting lineup video, maybe my top 10 spring list, I'll do it outside as well. 
just because I feel like that would be fitting for that type of video. So again, do expect to see some of those videos sprinkled in. I wanna to try to go to a few different places this summer um, instead of just doing them in my backyard like I normally did. If I'm gonna do some outdoor videos, I wanna to try to find some really, really cool spots to do them, so definitely stay tuned for that. So again, guys, that's gonna do it for this review. It's my take on Bergamot 22. Overall, fantastic scent. So let me know down below if you've tried this one and what you think of it. And that's going to do it, guys. So if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. And that's it for me, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.